the bible says even the lawful captives hold on do you know what it means to be a lawful captive to be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the which the devil is taking advantage of you but he says even the lawful captive at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside here following online at the overflow when we shout this name we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things now the moment we shout that name listen to me there are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down some of you as you are standing you are representing families at this shout the fire from heaven will fall upon you please i want you to bring them out bring your various overflow father there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Oh, God had so highly exalted him and giving him a name an office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now we are still praying please bring them out halakato sadekateba shadekete berekoto skoto prendegedia shagapakatos some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of god is going to come upon you but it's not just for yourself it's for your entire family lord every family represented here makatos keba that is under any kind of yoke i declare by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ that yoke is broken now broken now broken now broken now Every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll. To the Lord of Lords. We will pray. Adonai. From the rising of the sun to praise. Hallelujah. Elijah. I'm hearing a name Elijah. Elijah. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people and the Lord is telling me this is I'm seeing written on it good news I'm seeing the number 71 just stretch your hands towards me father hold on please from my left to my right 
everyone who must receive this inside outside right now i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you help them please in the name of jesus sounds of good news sounds of good things sounds of good help them some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the holy ghost suddenly what do you do you are elijah what do you do you are a pastor where you have your own church can i pray for you you are elijah hold on please don't mr man i'm seeing fire coming on you now take that grace in the name of jesus you will never be the same again in the name of jesus christ pastor can i pray for you listen we are co-laborers and god granted us grace to help one another are we together now i stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus may the lord anoint you may your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ my god please look up i'm seeing a very interesting vision the lord just opened my eyes and i saw a grave and i saw it open and i saw things not people things that are there coming out i'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of jesus christ help her please praise the lord i want to pray for you zaina in the name of jesus christ may the lord bring a visitation for your family a supernatural visitation everyone trusting god for a job i just saw something now please believe hmm. you are trusting god for a job wherever your job is in the name of jesus christ may god take you there right now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead some of you by this time next week I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may God surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly I'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you're a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no 
the pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are if we love our workers you are a faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is was not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we are limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. hallelujah my dear in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the issue that is on the table according to the word of the lord if god could locate you i declare and i also pray for you also civil defense madam i want to pray for you where are you from i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you will come and stand both of you you will stand here before the people of god and you will testify of strange liftings in the name of jesus receive that grace now by the power of the holy spirit sir i pray for you in the name of jesus christ help her please daddy i don't know why you are standing outside here but i want to pray for you we are going to pray for the sick i'm going to pray for you is it husband and wife madam i need to pray because i hope you're not embarrassed sir. can i talk to you ah we have to pray i believe in miracles god is taking sickness sickness i'm looking at you and i'm seeing many things i'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is bp Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you in the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You are a worker. What do you want God to do for you?
look at a wise man you heard what he said he said i want to know him more is it not relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more Amen. the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speak in your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up let me tell you this you see one of the ways that god helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people this is somebody's father and grandfather now he's saying that look doctors are a miracle they are instruments of god's mercy without them will not even live to even learn the ways of god but look what is happening to this man now we're about to pray for the sick shortly i'm sure there's a reason why the lord left him here that he came together with our mother here and now they are, i don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now but that he will never be able to speak again sir come again either life or death don't worry madam you are in the right place you are a man of god here please listen to me you see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing it's not enough to say i'm apostle joshua selman i am this our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with god carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with god don't ask god to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back please don't be offended i'm not i'm just sharing with you a passion i'm looking at this man's situation daddy we're going to pray for you and i believe jesus that he will do a miracle for you i don't know what it is that he has put and then god will heal you of bp because i saw a thermometer going up and coming down can we pray for the sick now in the name of jesus please no stand up sir it's important you see i know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in zaria um day before yesterday and i was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do 
and then in the midst of it now i'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here i don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest he touched me the master touched me and oh what joy fills my soul something happened and now I know he touched me there will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady the moment that shout happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move a gentleman and a lady now we're ready to pray please I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now bone conditions be healed now those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, leave the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness. Be healed now. Blind eyes open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers, like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you, and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems, all kinds of abdominal problems here. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. That thing that makes you to just shake, your body shakes. In the name of Jesus, I declare. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair falls. This, is, this has been a very demonic thing. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Please don't, don't, you are punishing this man. Just keep him somewhere. When he's healed, he can stand up and come. Huh? The man is trying to stand. Now, 
don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now <laughs> you know you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now <laughs> any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah ah, i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you yeah. be healed in the name of jesus yeah. now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now yeah. please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. 
He has won my battle for me. I'm a weaver man. I'm a weaver man. He has won my battle for me. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command, I pray for you. You don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now. In the name of Jesus, whether in ministry, whether in politics, in business, there are parliamentarians here, there are people from everywhere. They are business people, veterans in business, civil service. I pray the unction required for the next level of your results. I stand here and I declare, let it come upon you now. I decree and declare, you will check all these requests and you will not find any left. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now if there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be answered tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever has failed in your hands, in the name of Jesus, go back and succeed. <laughs> Whatever has refused to walk in your hands, I declare go back and succeed. For those of you in ministry, fresh fire for the new season. Those of you in business, fresh connections and illumination. Those in politics, parliamentarians, supernatural grace in the name of Jesus. And then I pray for your spiritual life. There is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger i'm going to make the altar call shortly but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of Jesus Christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the Christ. I clear it out of your life. I clear it out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 take it back to go to Prakato Sata be open now in the name of Jesus open up Dita and Dita be open now Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Stubata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here, you have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen, there are captains of industry right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those veils right now burn those veils right now turn it into a prayer every veil covering the glory of God upon my life it says but thou O Lord at a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Now, oh Lord, at the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Hello, Madonna. still pray hear me except god did not send me if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke over your life over your ministry i stand by the rod of the apostolic i stand by the rod of the prophetic i declare judgment on strange spirits judgment on foundation judgment on yokes of darkness Oh, 
Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go i stand by the god of heaven the god of Shaturon, that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare must let you go now the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty the Holy Ghost is ministering to me there are people in business here every time good things are about to happen there are forces familiar spirits that stand to shut doors i'm praying for business people i stand by the unction of jesus and i declare anyone here in business whatever power has refused to let you advance in the name of jesus at the count of three it comes under fire one two three go 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 release your destiny release your business in the name of jesus christ it says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go hear me i don't care what it is called blood disease genotype issues recurrent things eating your finances destroying the destiny of your family at the count of three you will shout jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmity. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare, standing for yourselves and your families, the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life 
I speak as one sent. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release their destinies now. They came to the house of God. Let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who is this man? Come. What do you do, sir? Sir, I was into business, but nothing is moving. You were into business? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is the house of God. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing snakes from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing all around you. The Bible, this is the house of God. If we cannot solve problems supernaturally, we are wasting our time here. Sir, I'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy. The same way you are standing here, this is the same way you will stand here. Your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I stretch my hand. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, let it open you to new dimensions. In the name of Jesus, every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business, I come by the blood of Jesus and I declare it is over right now. Hallelujah. Who is Regina? Who is Regina? I'm hearing a name Regina. You are wearing a yellow dress. Regina. Is there someone like that? Regina. Who is that? What's your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jai here. From where? Jai. You believe in Jesus? Yes, Come. sir. Your family is about to experience a very strange miracle. Stand up. Listen, let me tell you this. Believe me when I tell you, people of God, there are people who are sent. There are people who are sent with an unction and sent with a grace. It is not the anointing that is available that blesses you. It's the anointing sent to you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus Christ, for you and for your family members. Right now, every power that will not let you go, here in the house of God, I declare by the Spirit of God, a new chapter opens for your family now. A new chapter opens for your family now. Hallelujah. My friend, under the anointing, the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Therefore, I speak to you. Everything that has stolen away your joy and your testimony as a family, I command it to let you go now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray. Miscarriage, I want to pray. Don't worry, I'll pray for you. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. Something is coming on your wife. It's over now. Now, two of you. Over now. I'm seeing a spirit that is back of her miscarriage. I challenge you by the God of heaven. Let her go now. Let me pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands and just coming on you. Everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command. Whatever will want you to disobey that command. I open up your wombs in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life I decree and declare return with your miracle children regardless the medical report we stand by the God of heaven and we declare oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you touch this grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've
around forget about who is by your left and right cry to the God of our salvation give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus for everyone that has get received are you praying everyone that has get received Pray, you're enlarging your capacity to receive it. You will never be the same. This is the house of God. You will never be the same. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus inside and outside. I want you to bring them here in the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion, and the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break faith. I break faith. Bring them out. I break faith. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. You must leave. 
see you now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar partake barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head Release that family, all of them. Release that family. Not just one person. Release that family. This is a whole family under bondage. Release them. Release them. Release them now. Release them now. Father, mother, siblings. Release them. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a family. No one gives birth. Fruitfulness is a challenge. The Lord is releasing that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Koinonia. Every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place I command that spirit to give way right now in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus this change that I see on people's feet is time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of Jesus I take authority over it I take authority over it Hallelujah. Who is Bethel? I'm hearing a name Bethel. Bethel. Will be seated shortly. But this is the house of God. Bethel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam. I don't know who this woman is. Yes, that one with her hand on her head. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing oil being poured on your head. And the Lord is saying a major breakthrough is coming to your family. That things will never be the same. You don't have to bring her out. What's your name? Is she the Bethel? What's you are Bethel, madam? let me pray for you there is a Bethel that the Lord is asking me to rebuke death from your family because I am seen obituary by the month of May and the Lord is saying we must rebuke that spirit hear me anyone that digs a pit for you here I declare the earth will open and swallow them
the Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now. And in the name of Jesus, we release you to prophetic dimensions. Move to the next levels of your life, next levels of your destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, one more time. Whatever will not let you go, I call on my God, who is also your God. May he clear them out of the way. May he clear them out of your way. May he clear them out of your way. Every obstacle that will not let you advance, I call on my God to clear them out of your way. In the name that is above all names, I speak unto you. An unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen a dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names i prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now I prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination and insight into the mysteries and the operation of the kingdom. I release it upon you right now. Oh, eyes to see, eyes to see. I release it upon you. Uncommon dimension of access to spiritual realities. I release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the Lord Jesus. My goodness, there are strange impartations, strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, I release impartations of this unction, the spirit of revelation, strange levels of access in the spirit. I open to you fountains, fountains of light in the spirit. I open you up to mysteries. I open you up to mysteries in the name of Jesus. I open you up to mysteries, strange operations of mysteries. I 
Hallelujah. Hear me. Every person who you must connect to to rise, wherever they are, is called a year of multiplied influence. I'm prophesying to you, please believe me, from the north to the south, the east and the west, every anointing, every grace you must connect to to rise. I release access to you in the name of Jesus. Access to people, access to anointings, access to opportunities in the name of Jesus. Oh, connect with influential people. I release that anointing upon you. Receive it. Connect to influential people. Receive it right now. Influence, influence. I stand upon this apostolic office and I prophesy supernatural influence. Connect to people in government. Connect to people everywhere. In the name of Jesus, they will listen to you when you speak. They will rise up to help you. up for you every door that refused to open it in the name of Jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of Jesus every door that refused to open every obstacle that refused to let you go right now in the name of Jesus I command that door open now open now hear me i prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ We rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you, but we're going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations 5 verse 7. Please, quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State I didn't ask them to do witchcraft 
and now that they have done it if the land is cursed i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. When only are you praying, alienated, every biological deformity, every genetic deformity, pray, every yoke that made you SS, that made you AS, that gave you hepatitis, tonight <laughs> Hallelujah. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. stretch my hands right now hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that I stretch my hands right now let it be in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God inside outside i stretch my hands be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus be free right now from activities of witchcraft hallelujah demonic activities strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom I command liberty. The blood speaks right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the bible says in galatians chapter 3 verse 29 he says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise 
I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. yoke of this favor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ And Cain said, my punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark seketo shalakras katapadiasha lebren tekes kotapras katalia any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that mark be blotted forever Blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry, genotypes, SS, Shakatosia, AS. There's no such reality in the realm of the spirit. That provision does not exist. It's a manipulation from the second heavens. Altering the genetics of men. But right now in the name of Jesus, every blood related issue passed to you by covenant. I blot it out of your body right now. I blot it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life, you have seen around your finances, you have seen around your work with God. You are up today, down tomorrow. You are serious today, unserious tomorrow. You love the Lord today, you love something else tomorrow. Your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow. Your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce 
into the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now I provoke restoration right now. 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 I pray over your life. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. I want to speak speed in your life. I don't know what tied you down. By now, according to the program of God for you, you should have entered certain levels. You should have been the mother of four children now, but you are yet to have one. Therefore, I command speed. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus, I command speed. Speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetch all the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota leke to a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire Carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environments cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry, sustain an ability to nullify ordinances, nullify yokes and causes and enchantment. Surely they shall gather, but because your gathering is not of God, there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I declare that from now step into a season of joy and laughter step into a season of joy and laughter 
It says, you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy. I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow. I call to end the days of mourning. I appoint unto you a new season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered the grace for visibility. The Bible says you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me so that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give your ministry, your business, to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Some of you here are in ministry and you love the Lord with all your heart. But the truth is that the current level of grace you carry, you have the work that now is before you, you will need a higher level of grace. The level of grace that you now have, you will not be able to do much. Our possibilities are governed, among many other factors, by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us. So grace and peace is multiplied. I pray for you. Everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation, maybe there's no church growth, maybe resources, there are no destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into a new season of impact. I place a grace upon you. Step into a new season of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for our families? We are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families. Because you see, if you rise and you are experiencing God alone, you are still not free. The anointing is coming on this lady, you. Bringing to end everything that is not of the Christ. Listen, do you know, let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. For every word that I utter, you are just saying amen. But you see this is what happens. Every word, the sound you see, enters your ears and stops there. But the anointing that is on the sound, rests on your head and begins to make your life are you seeing that now it makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass so don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher what is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head layers so when you leave, you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life. This gentleman, I don't know who you are, come. Your life is about to change. Stand up, where are you coming from? From 
Taraba, God will use you greatly. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Pick him up. In the name of Jesus, serve God with sincerity. Serve God with integrity. Bring him closer. There is something he's receiving. I impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders. Multiplied influence, visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and do exploits for the kingdom. This lady, come. Run, come. Receive that grace. It will turn you into a sign and a wonder. I ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit. Receive of that grace. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Signs and wonders. An uncommon ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now let me pray over your finances do you know why because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration are we together now it's a cost to spend your life looking for money there are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom I know some of you are trusting God for jobs I know some of you are trusting God for all kinds of liftings but hear me hear me God put the apostolic and the prophetic the realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit so that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect there are occurrences that happen at the instance of time there are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value but there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic in the name of jesus i declare god who has helped me god who has helped this ministry i cry unto god who is called ebenezer receive supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor I open up doors for you in the spirit I open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may God connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of I elevate you to a higher dimension financially hallelujah let me pray for your spiritual life you see listen hold on no matter what you do right if your spiritual life goes wrong your life is wrong did you hear what i said no matter whether you are prospering getting jobs having children if your work with god goes wrong the result is that your entire destiny is wrong I'm about to pray for your spiritual life some of you love the Lord but many things have happened around your life your spiritual life your fire may not be the way it used to be your hunger may not be the way it used to be your zeal for the house of God may not be the way it used to be that lady near the door the hand of God is coming on her that's right I want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down father every spirit of lukewarmness prayerlessness wordlessness I crush that spirit now
receive fresh hunger for the things of God fresh hunger for the things of God fresh passion for spiritual things may your prayer fire multiply now the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to intercede receive it in the name of Jesus the grace to sit down and study the grace to sit down and study receive that grace in the name of Jesus hear me every wrong association and wrong relationship that will not promote your spiritual health I cut you away from it now let me pray for those trusting God for jobs if you are here and you are trusting God for a job my God I pray that you will honor this word in the name that is above all names prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you help them please we shift systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business here you are losing you are not prospering you are discouraged in the name of Jesus whatever it is that you are involved with I give it life in the name of Jesus let me pray for students undergraduate postgraduate in the name of Jesus the spirit of excellence the grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive that grace in the name of Jesus retentive memory exceptional spirit in the name of Jesus Christ listen in the name of Jesus supernatural understanding I release it upon you supernatural understanding all those who are students trusting God for accommodation trusting God for a destiny helper to help you you don't have to go around living your life go around meeting men meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation I pray for you may the mercy of God open up strange doors for you I pray for everyone here who has a project on ground whether building project whatever kind of project you are on the hand of Zerubbabel that began that work I decree and declare that same hand will complete it receive the finishers anointing receive the finishers anointing in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of kidnapping where someone just leaves his house and all of a sudden people just come and carry them take them somewhere and now are asking for evil people asking for ransom money that if the family had they will use it to build a house or do something productive please hear the prayer one of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in Christ it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you that with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked I pray for you any gang up against you and your loved ones in the afternoon in the morning in the night whether through acts of terrorism whether through the sword in the air on land in the name of Jesus it is averted forever averted forever and I declare over your life hear me I declare over your life anyone who will not let you rest in this season the Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means I declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the
the same You've touched His grace Your life must change You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life must change I, 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 hey. I, 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 Celebrate the God of wonders Mighty things are about to happen here I, 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 Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve. Honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray a prayer and I want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every 
planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands Kepakosh in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed, some of you have fasted, you have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest, but please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium, but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic 
the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Senas kali bari hato sena, empre kete katos kene malahasa, shayendes kame ne katos kabra, atelas kabane katos gengera, shaprende dos kembari katos. The spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm still. I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women. There are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you mateus kani parahasia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hither and tither Ephata, be open hither and tither open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ the bible says and i will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one i stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace 
drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of the death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ Let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. 
you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it Rehoboth. he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with god i know that but i want you to agree with god and say lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year I tell you if you if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart you will be surprised what my god will do lift up your voice and pray lord i agree with you Shapata. open strange doors open strange doors open strange doors open strange doors Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout it say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying god to stop results from happening in my life i challenge you i challenge you i challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah let's take one more prayer point i want us to release the ministry of angels listen the bible says are they not ministering spirits let me tell you hear me angels are real i see them all the time you will be foolish to believe angels are not real not everybody here seated physically in koinonia is a human being i have seen them many times as i preach they sit down like human beings they are not human beings i like you to pray say in the name of jesus see some of you are still joking say it again in the name of jesus i am an heir of salvation therefore i decree and i deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war warfare until i become victorious lift your voice and pray i release their ministry my help us to come into my destiny release favor i release angels over koinonia the angels assign
line over Koinonia. We release you by the word of God. The angels are signed over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you in the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things People have converted and have left God because of fear. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit of fear over my life, over my family, over my loved ones, over Koinonia. I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous Koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism Time in the name of Jesus, Father, every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business. Prosper my ministry. I still believe. lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed 
I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from John. I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you, are, you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it i speak upon your spirit may an unction the unction that teaches men things i'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus may that light shine upon your spirit May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body your body must glorify god tonight therefore i curse that devil i curse that spirit i curse that devil i curse that spirit everything that has stopped you from being productive i prophesy to your hands your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus 
He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go. May God show you the mysteries. May he show you in the name of Jesus. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. Pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters. Revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more faithful more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear, then you come. Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. me to wear this as 
a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. Thou 
thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory if we speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe it, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension I don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction God is giving me in the name of Jesus Lord I'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them strange fire I see strange fire rising from the feet right on top from the feet right on top from the feet please help them in the name of Jesus can you carry the child so that he doesn't in the name of Jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah